Now, how will the query access this database? What would be the query patterns? Like, what would the person search? It will be a random search. It will be some with filters. The person will search on uh, for a particular user, or the person will search on just generic text. So, all these things we have to think about. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. So in one of the community posts that I did, someone mentioned that I should basically make a video on Twitter search, like how does something like Twitter search works. So I did a little bit of research and try to make this video. I hope you like this one. Uh, so let's see how this Twitter search works. So like if you would have used Twitter or you know about Twitter, so Twitter is basically a kind of a status website. Everyone just write a small tweet and post it there like kind of their status, what they are thinking, whatever is that. So every day there are billions of tweets that are happening on Twitter. Now, and it is, let's suppose there are 400 million tweets which are happening each day. Now let's calculate what would be the average size of this tweet. Now this tweet which have a tweet, tweet ID, which is around, let's say eight bytes, a user ID, suppose 32 bytes, text 140 bytes and some media. Like someone also includes an image. So let's suppose that's 10 KB. Now this can be large because the images are also large. So let's say the total is around 10 KB, but let's say it is something bigger. So let's call, take it around 1 MB or something like that. So we have this 150 TB of new content created every month. So now this number is also very low that we are considering just 10 KB per tweet. Now this would be in uh, or like I'm absolutely sure it will not be in terabytes. It, mostly will be in petabytes or even higher numbers. Now, we are basically talking about search. Now, you have these many number of tweets. Like why I shared this data is because we have these many number of tweets on which we have to perform our search. And we have around, let's suppose 4000 search requests per second, like many users at a time. This is also a very low consideration that only just 4000 searches are being made but let's take this assumption for now now there are 15 billion tweets per month and 10 billion searches per month so you can see how many searches are being being performed and on how much data these searches are being performed now the first point that comes into our mind to give the search basically we would have to provide the search on the tweet itself now, uh, which kind of database would you use? Uh, you would use a SQL database or a new SQL database. Like I'm thinking what would Twitter engineers would have thought. They would always have thought this, but like what kind of uh, database would they need? The second thing is how will the query uh, access the database and how will the query time decrease? So basically you have to query this data fast because you're providing a search. The search cannot be slow. Uh, how will the query access this database? What would be the query patterns? Like what would the person search? It will be a random search. It will be some with filters. The person will search on uh, for a particular user or the person will search on just generic text. So all these things we have to think about. Now let's go back to the history. Now, uh, like on the various articles, the Twitter has thought that they have used MySQL database. Uh, now Twitter is a quite old website like it was there since 2008 I think so at that time they used a MySQL database and I think they are still using it so they use the MySQL database but how do they provide search in a MySQL database so uh, just to provide a little context MySQL database internally uh, is a relational database like you all know the data is arranged in the form of rows and columns uh, in like in Internal implementation, the, this data is stored in the form of a B plus tree. So in a form of a B plus tree, this data is stored. Now, how would you basically search a particular term in this MySQL database? Would you do a parallel scan? Like you're scanning the complete database, you're scanning a complete B plus tree. Now that search would really suck because that would not be able to perform a search fast. Now, how would you like improve the speed of this search? Now to improve the speed of this search, what is the basic norm in a database? So whenever in a database we have to increase the speed, we create an index. Now what does this index mean and what does this index do? 
we'll talk about this now what does an index do an index basically uh, like we discussed we have a b plus c okay now what does this index do it is basically suppose this is a b plus c that you have now this this is the kind of data like this a b c d e f these are the leaf nodes and then there are above nodes and then there is a final topmost node root node which we call now when you create this uh, index it is basically what it does it creates another b plus tree now there was a b plus tree actually containing the data now when you again create an index on a particular column now in a relational database the index is created on a particular column so you would you can create an in index on the username in this case you are providing searches over tweets so obviously you would be uh, creating an index over the tweet column now the tweet column contain the tweet the person the whatever text he has said now it will create another b plus tree for that particular index now what that b plus tree would be it will be a sorted tree on the basis of that particular column now by sorting what do we mean is that it will be sorted in this form so like uh, the tweets uh, like in alphabetical form they are sorted and stored in the tree now whenever you have to search uh, in the b plus tree the search would be faster obviously because it will not have to scan the complete tree it knows the sorted order so if uh, you are searching abc it knows that uh, a, the a2i data is stored in this node then it goes to abc and that's how a basic search happens in an index and that's how indexing helps us speed us over because it is doing nothing internally it is just sorting your data in some particular order now that's how indexing works now let's see how twitter would use this kind of indexing now suppose like i mentioned you create a tweet column okay and you create an index over this tweet now how would you do a search suppose uh, i wrote a tweet that my name is techy007 now uh, i am searching for uh, techy007 and i want to see this tweet now if this is a basic relational database now whenever you query a sql database you do it using a relational database you basically do it using sql so what would be the command or what would be the sql code that you would be writing you would simply do on this particular index that basically simply select star where a uh, tweet is the column it is like uh, wildcard characters percentage and uh, techy007 and again percentage so you would be doing this query now in this what you would see like when you introduce this star or percentage like we use star generally like if you introduce this star now this star can be replaced with anything it can be replaced with a it can be replaced with z now will this index be used in such kind of a uh, wild card query can can this be used like if you have to search star something star in this how would you perform your basic search there is no way you can do a search you would have to do a complete scan of this tree so that's how indexing won't work index if you do a simple indexing it won't work on the tweet column because you introduced wild card characters you are the only kind of things which are supported by this index when you do an equal to query or if you do kind of a begins with query that also would work simply because it is in the sorted order so that's how it will work now how will we then perform a search like how did twitter do it now twitter did it with the help of reverse index now what is a reverse index so index as you see it was on the basis of the value uh now what we will do in this reverse index is like we take a tweet message and we get the keywords out of that and we basically create a db with the, those keywords and a complete tweet now these keywords like i said i suppose i tweeted my name is techy007 so the keyword in this would be techy007 and my tweet would be there now when i have to perform the search i would query this keyword column instead of calling this tweet column so instead of creating the uh, index on the value i'm actually querying on the key so that's that's what is called a uh, basically a reverse index so 
that's how they solved it so what do you would do you would take the tweet you would break down it into different number of uh, keywords that you have for each keyword you would create an entry now each keyword can contain multiple entries like techy007 can be mentioned in very different number of tweets so you would kind of have a lot of tweets for one key so this is this was the basic version and it scaled pretty well they were able to achieve what they wanted people were able to search and this model worked for them obviously this was not just a single server mysql there there, there were other things also which were done like sharding was done indexing is also being done they partition the data geo wise so a lot of things those things are common things everyone has to do that but this is something which they did to perform the search after some years they discussed that they thought that it is not just about the tweet like whenever you search you are not always wanting to search a tweet you might be wanting to search a user you might be wanting to search a location you might be wanting to search about something else so it is not just the tweet there are a lot of things that are involved or associated with that tweet so this can be the user itself like i tweeted somebody is trying to search about me they should be able to see all the tweets which i have done so this is one thing then there is user info like where do i live I'll, whatever place i live and etc so there are also these types of things which are there also th- we want relevant tweets like for example someone suppose is living in canada and uh, the person uh, is living near a district called london so if you don't know there is a district called london in canada also and there is london in uk also now a person who is sitting in canada if he is searching about london he is mostly searching about the district in canada itself and not uk the london which is in uk so this relevance has to be taken into the factor so that the person is able to see the right kind of tweets like it is also possible that it is he is searching about uk london also but the which, which is the highest probability basically so we basically when we see all this we have three types of information we have the static information which is the tweet itself we have the dynamic information which is the user information like user can change his name uh, his he can change his id which is using he can change the place where he is living all that is dynamic information and the third type of information is the searchers for information like the user who is searching or whatever keywords that the person has typed this is the search information so we have to basically combine these three and then do a search on the reverse index that we created so how would we do this so we create an ingestion pipeline now what whenever someone tweets what this ingestion pipeline would do it will break down into keywords create the entries in the uh mysql database and the indexer would basically index these entries now a person uh, who uh, has some tweets associated with it he changes his name or place now this gets updated by the updater now this updater also pushes this information to this indexer and it updates the rows for that particular person all the tweets which are related to that and then again the indexer indexes this new data which is found so this is how the three two things happen now when the person who is searching that types the tweet then we get the third type of data so we combine all that data we extract the keywords and then basically do a search on this mysql database on the basis of the new keywords that we have found so that's how a basic twitter search would work uh, now in this we also have to consider the duplicate removal now there it is possible that there are multiple tweets which contain the same information now how do we remove the duplicates like or even a single tweet but we have a multiple entries like i discussed there can be multiple entries for the same same tweet on the basis of different keywords so like if uh, a, a tweet contains a lot of different keywords it will be in multiple rows now we have to remove those duplicates how will we remove those duplicates that's very simple just hash that tweet with the some signature and just take out the unique signatures from whatever data you are getting now we also have to do some personalization like i discussed the user needs to see information according to his now for this we have to see the complete social graph like what who persons like to which persons this this user who is searching is related to what places he has been to 
all these things so a complete social graph suppose kind of exists now if you do computation on this graph at search time it will take a lot of time so obviously some pre processing has to be done now twitter does this kind of pre processing in which they create a bloom filter uh now we will talk about what this bloom filter is but for now let's suppose that it basically gives the keywords with which this user is related to so suppose this user is related to some keywords it will give the set membership that this person is in this set or not so that's how we get the personalization data and the complete search happens now in this we have not discussed about image or video search so i will leave that to you to do the research and maybe let me know in the comment section how this would be happening on twitter and i will also add the links uh, which i used for research of this video uh, and i hope you like this one give me more suggestions to what kind of content you would like to see and i will definitely try to make it thank you so much see you next one